Happy New Year's, everybody. Oh, yeah. And it is a good day today. It is a good time nowadays because, listen, we are going to kick things off with this new year. Let me tell you something, man. Let me tell you something, man. 2020 wasn't it. It wasn't it. If you and, and if you want to see my rant on 2021 on, on 2020, go ahead and check out my Instagram right here. I posted it right there. Look a little shiny. What's going on? Anyway, uh, <laughs> yeah. So, welcome to 2021, y'all. Life's life gang, bro. We life gang. Welcome to 2021. This is it, bro. This is it. Mac is life is about to go on the grid. By this time, I'm telling you right now. I'm so blessed to be out of 2020. And let's just see what 2020 has, 2021 has in store for us right now. Because I'll let y'all know right now, it's going to be some, it's going to be a lot of new things on this channel. I'll just let you know right now. I've been, I, I've been, I've been, I've been plotting behind the scenes. So stay tuned from that. You know what I'm saying? But, um, and to kick things off with this new year, we are going to start it off with Death Battle. I didn't think Death Battle was going to make it on this channel, but it did. It did. It did. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Today, we're going to be checking out Hulk versus Brawly. Death Battle. This battle is so unfair. It's so unfair, but it's like... Why? I know they're, I know they're both strong, but... We got we gotta understand though, like we gotta understand. Broly is universal. This this dude can't be beaten. You know what I'm saying? The only reason why he was able to get beat was because you know Goku and Vegeta had to fuse just to stop this guy. He knocked Goku out of his Super Saiyan God form, and and that alone can beat Hulk. Let's let's not let's let's let's. Let's, let's, you know what I'm saying? Let's not, you know, let's not deny that. But, yeah, we're going to go ahead and see what's going on with Death Battle with this episode. I know this Death Battle is going to be, oh, my God, it's going to be one-sided as hell. But we're going to do it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, if you're new, be sure to subscribe. Click on that bell so that you'll know where to check out this video. So, without further ado, let's Go! This episode of Death Battle is sponsored by Warner Bros. Pictures and HBO Max. Wonder Woman 1984 in theaters and HBO Max on December 25th. Streaming on HBO Max for a limited time of 34 days from its theatrical release. Have you been aching for a movie that inspires hope and an escape? Full of heart and mystery and intense epic action? Look no further than Wonder Woman 1984 in theaters and HBO Max on December 25th. Slip into the world of the 1980s. Vibrant, sleek, and driven by excess just like me. Diana mm -hmm. Prince has been keeping a low profile as a superhero. But will soon be dragged into a conflict that will decide the fate of this brave yeah, that's new that's world. Wonder Woman Watch as Wonder Woman battles too. Maxwell I Lord and the Cheetah in some of the most fun action scenes ever put to film. Wonder Woman 1984 is in theaters and HBO Max on December 25th, streaming on HBO Max for a limited time of 31 days from its theatrical release. I'm not paying for that. Mr. T. As primal as the ground we walk on and the air we breathe, anger can keep us alive or doom us forever. Well, like on that fun comparison. note, let's jump into our season finale. First up is the Incredible Hulk, Marvel's mean, green, world-breaking machine. Hulk. Then there's Broly, the legendary Super Saiyan from Dragon Ball. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a, a death, death battle. battle. Let's get it. Hey, you. Me. Yeah, you. Don't you want to play? And young Bruce Banner was a genius and the son of nuclear physicist Brian Banner. Who was just the absolute shittiest dad ever, complete with mom murdering and super baby slapping. 
naturally pretty distraught, Bruce's trauma due to parental abuse internalized itself as a second personality, an angry, childlike brute that just wanted to be left alone. Even with that angry shadow in his head, Bruce grew up to be a leader in the study of gamma radiation. So like a total nerd who probably got beat up all the time. He had that covered. During a gamma bomb test, Bruce was caught in the blast zone and absorbed enough radiation to, well, die. Except he kind of didn't. Well, not permanently. Instead, the bomb opened a door that let Bruce's alternate personality step into the world. Thus, oh. using his anger, Bruce Banner transformed into the Incredible Hulk. The Hulk is what. Let's be honest. If the uh, not not the Mark Ruffalo uh, Hulk, but the previous Hulk, if he was in the Avengers. Oh yeah, he's tearing, he's tearing, he's tearing stuff up. One of the strongest Mother Hubbers in all of Marvel. He can lift a 150 billion ton mountain, shatter asteroids twice the size of Earth, leap into orbit from the ground, and even mess with the fabric of reality by punching. Whatever a time storm is, you bet your ass he can punch it and break time. The Hulk's absurd power is tied to his rage. The angrier he gets, the stronger he I know becomes. Heard this music and according though. to almighty gods like the Beyonder, the dude's got no known upper limit. Though, to be fair, his body can't always keep up and will revert to Banner under too much pressure or right. too many puppies. Emotions like rage are governed by an area of the brain known as the hypothalamus, which controls Bruce's transformation. If it's damaged, his life could be put in jeopardy, like when mm. Hawkeye pierced it with a special arrow Bruce himself designed. Good thing the Hulk's a total tank who can keep fighting for days on end. Nothing short of literal gods are strong enough to take him down. When he does take damage, his body can heal almost instantly, even if his flesh has been vaporized I mean, or he's been cut yeah. into literal pieces. The Hulk can adapt to any environment imaginable, whether that's just straight up holding energy or surviving the depths of space. He's even battled the warrior god Thor, who has thousands of years of combat experience and is fast enough to cross the universe in about five he seconds, behind, nearly 300 way. quadrillion times the speed of light. No wonder the world's so scared of him. He's a green apple flavored behemoth of destruction with the mind of a cranky four-year-old. While the classic savage Hulk persona may be a childish brute, there are several, maybe even thousands of other personalities cooped up within Banner's shattered psyche. Joe Fixit is a street smart bouncer. Dot Green is a super genius, and the that's Devil that's Hulk is the father from. figure Bruce never had. It's like an all you, you can eat the Hulk Avenger Emporium games, you know, in Bruce's brain. The we got just came Dark out Hulk, Mindless Hulk, Hulk Squared, and Claw, which is basically just sad Hulk. It's kind of dumb. Wow. Despite seeing his human half as weak, Hulk and Bruce would finally unite against a cruel, uncaring world under a new persona, the Green Scar. He brought a world war to Earth and tore the superhero community a new asshole. And by finally letting go of puny Banner, the Hulk became the unstoppable force everyone's always feared. A world breaker. World is underselling it. The Savage Hulk once obliterated an entire universe with a thunderclap and bloodied Hyperion with a single... Now let's see this. Let's, 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 let's look at this real quick. On level is super strength. Okay, that's the same thing that Broly has. Gamma radiation manipulation. That has no effect on him. <laughs> that has no effect on Broly, yo. Uh, <laughs> immortality via resurrection. Okay. Reactive adaption. Regenerative healing. Okay. Super gen... Super... Super... Super gen genus... Intem super genius intelligence. Did I really just mess that up? I don't know. Superhuman speed and uh, telepathy resistance. Um, for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna keep my opinions to myself. But <laughs> I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to. Let's let's just break this down because we're not sleeping when it comes to these debates. You know what I'm saying? So be, be, be prepared for that. This is this is this is punch. crucial. The same Hyperion who survived the collision of two universes unscathed, which but begs remember, the question: How? Remember, Broly can Broly, Broly gets stronger every time he, he gets hit. So, 
uh, about say the the, the much more powerful is the, the Hulk radio. at his maximum. Some of the stuff didn't really have, uh, this you know, all on me. The with the so Hulk was once with this chick, I mean, Umar, ruler really. of the dark dimension. Spooky. Hulk could only match her strength for six minutes, but he made up for it in round two when he came back as the Green Scar and kept Hulk smashing for hours. It's likely they went until dawn. That's a 12-hour session of Hulk smashing at most. My man. Well, that would make the Green Scar 120 times stronger than the Savage Hulk. Multiplying that by the energy. I like to, you know, the old school death battle when it didn't have the animation. 962 vigintillion joules. That's just a ridiculous number. All that from a single battle? Battle? Oh, sweet summer child whiz. That's not the kind of smashing I meant. You got to be kidding me. I think I just invented a new field of science. The science of the f Now, you might be thinking this gamma stuff is nuts. And you're right, because it's oh, safe gosh, magic. I have a challenge for all of you. Go to every okay, computer in your house, right. your mom's, your dad's, your sister, your brother's computer. I don't computer. Want to Mr. Beast. Thank you. So, turns out, Gamma is actually directly connected to energy from hell. Drawn from Marvel's ultimate satanic being, the one below all. By using his powers, the Hulk is literally channeling the devil. It's also what kept him alive all these years. Every time Bruce dies, uh, his soul is sent uh, to hell and can resurrect. Once returned to the world, to his body will much. heal from whatever killed him. But the I'm, dude I'm literally can't die. Here. And after and a journey we, we, into we the can, lowest plane of hell, the Hulk on. even faced off against the one below all and the ghost of his father. In the greatest therapy session of all time, he thunderclapped those two assholes to smithereens. Talk about cathartic. From one man with crippling daddy issues to another. Well done, sir. What else can you say but incredible? All right, now the road. The Saiyans, a brutal alien race of interstellar conquerors. And giant monkey men. These famous warriors are defined by three things. Their tenacity, their pride, and their rage, which fuels their world-destroying power. And no Saiyan can get even close to as pissed off as Broly. Ah! Despite being of low birth, the infant Broly was considered a prodigy by Saiyan scientists due to his impossibly high power level of 10,000. Enough to survive mm -hmm. a planetary explosion. What? Over 9,000? Anyway, baby Broly was growing up nice and happy until he was driven insane by baby Goku's incessant crying. Now, everyone complains that this is the lamest back story ever, but have you played Yoshi's Island? Ah, nope, make it snap! That's the original story, but with the new movie, that's no longer canon. However, despite developing different personalities, because I was getting ready to say, if they was to use only uh, non-canon Broly, then we we got to talk there. Death battle, because there's, there's a lot of things that change with Broly. Both of these Brolys are essentially the same character in different situations. The 2018 one is our primary source here, but we'll look at the original and similar Saiyans like Kale for more info. Whether it be jealousy for his own son or genuine fear of Broly's potential, Vegeta, the king, not the prince, abandoned Broly to a hellish backwater planet to die with only his father, Paragus, as company. Just in time for Vegeta to get nuked. The planet, not the king. Well, I, I guess the king, too. All thanks to the alien tyrant, Frieza. Nice job getting rid of your crazy strong Saiyan, baby. Idiot. Ironically, after decades of isolation, Broly and Paragus were found by Frieza and drafted what into his army to eliminate the Saiyans had, on bro. Earth. I, Goku I swear, and Vegeta. The prince, not the planet. Or the king. Thing is, Broly's not like the angry Saiyan. Okay. This guy's a gentle giant who would rather play with his big green alien dog than fight anybody. Paragus molded Broly into a deadly warrior whether he liked it or not. Like most Saiyans, Broly can harness ki, or one's inner life force, as an energy to enhance his physicality. Or fire it from his hands in a super laser beam! Broly's bread and butter is his eraser cannon, a green fastball that'll cross thousands of miles in seconds and vaporize planets. He can barf lasers with his gigantic roar, shower the landscape with blaster meteor, or just mm -hmm. straight murder people with his gigantic orgasm! Gigantic Omega These Storm? Are key oh. techniques. That makes more sense. I'm gonna rename my dick that. Mm. His most powerful technique, what? though, is a small key bolt that Broly oh. can feed to rapidly grow in size and consume entire worlds. 
the Omega Blaster. Broly's arsenal isn't just blowing stuff up, though. He can use his key for flight, telekinesis, and paralysis. Despite being stuck in the space boonies all his life, he's an adaptable fighter who can match seasoned veterans. Basically, mm -hmm. he learns as he fights. And while most Saiyans get stronger every time they almost die, the Brolmeister's strength is tied to his emotions. AKA, the angrier he gets, the stronger he gets. Hmm, doesn't that sound familiar? These power boosts are so great, he can match transformations like the Super Saiyan without even needing to transform. But don't worry, he can do that too. His wrath state roids him up and makes him as strong as a... Okay, okay, okay. All right, give me a second. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me analyze this real quick. You see that? Increases physical size. Increases his physical size, I mean. Risks self-destruction. But he maintains it. Far more powerful than a traditional Super Saiyan. Which is an average Super Saiyan. Possess power of the great ape form. Okay, alright. This is all simple stuff. A Saiyan great ape without all the fur. Or the I'm shedding. Just, I'm just Much it. to Frieza's chagrin, though, it Broly had never learned to There's unlock Super Saiyan. Bike. And could it. not compete with Goku and Vegeta's stronger forms. Solution? Murder Broly's dead to get him to transform. Oh gosh. Both? Both? Okay. I've always loved sci fi. And the idea of being right on the edge of. Which is crazy Despite the physical abuse like... he suffered at his father's hands, Paragus was still the only family Broly had, and losing that drove him over the edge. That's basically what happened to me when my dad lived, except I turned into a super alcoholic. Although Broly didn't turn into a typical Super Saiyan. You're welcome. Broly's new form was actually a Super Saiyan C type. This is an unleashed version of the repressed Super Saiyan A type, which are both precursors of the B type. Blah, blah, blah. Daddy, you're going out for cigarettes again? Okay, I'll see you when you get back. Goodbye. Goodbye. I love you. Hey, what's what? going on? Are you paying attention? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the Super Saiyan Vitamin C form has the perfect energy control and let him wail on oh, Frieza for over oh, an hour. Going on and there. this time I mean wail as in fight. Um, right. Broly's power was so immense it even made Goku of all people turn tail and run. Goku was able to clash with Lord Beerus with enough force to potentially destroy all of Universe 7, a humongous cosmic structure shown in this symbolic model. Making the Dragon Ball universe nine times larger than our own. Based on this, the shockwaves from their clash propagated 240 quadrillion times faster than light. And after mm -hmm. that, Goku became Numbers this matter, powerful in his base form. Imagine how much facts. stronger he was at Super Duper receipts. Pooper Scooper Saiyan. Or when he fused with Vegeta into the almighty Gogeta, a being many times more powerful than the sum of his parts. Broly got into a dick measuring contest with a friggin' Super Saiyan squared oh, oh, and okay. shattered reality. And at the peak of his rage, he became the warrior of myth, destined to appear once every thousand years. The legendary Super Saiyan. Mm -hmm. As a broccoli-haired freak, legendary Broly's power is so great that he needs to constantly let it out or else he might self-destruct. I guess you could say his power is... Maximum! He's easily among the strongest foes Goku's gone up against. That includes beings capable of shaking an infinite void just by powering up or merging with the- He can destroy galaxies. Enough said. If you have the power to destroy a galaxy and or a universe, you are automatically the strongest. You are good enough if you're able to surpass the god's destruction, but you can't defeat someone who is able to shatter through dimensions, let alone a galaxy. These powers are universal. They can't compete. Universe and affecting alternate timelines. In his original timeline, the Brawl survived his energy exploding out of him all at once. And in canon, he took dozens of attacks from Gogeta Blue without Bro, any you, visible Gogeta's damage after fighting behind. for hours. His power comes at a cost, though. In his Berserker state, Broly is wide open against an opponent who's just as strong, but far more skilled. And after taking enough damage, his rage will hit its again, limits yeah, and his power will fizzle out quick. No he can even get knocked into weaker forms. Broly but did remember, lose his fight with Gogeta fair and square. But with new friends at his side to support him and a new rival to teach him to temper his fury, 
the lonely Saiyan outcast finally got what his father could never give him, a family. Oh, but that means he has even more to lose. So watch out, because this Super Saiyan's temper is legendary. All right, the combatants are set. All right, the combatants are set. We've run the data through all possibilities. But first, if you want some more earth-shattering action, check out Wonder Woman 1984. This episode of Death Battle is sponsored by Warner Brothers Pictures and HBO Max. Wonder Woman 1984 is in theaters and HBO Max on December 25th. Streaming on HBO Max for a limited time of 31 days from its theatrical release. I don't know if you've heard, Wiz, but Wonder Woman 1984... We're just going to skip to the battle, y'all. I like the animation they use for this one. Now let's get to the battle. I'm telling you, he's gonna whip his he's gonna whip his behind. Well he's gonna whip his behind. Hey, I just know spiky it. hair man, what's this puny planet? You scared them away. You are making me angry. You won't like me when I'm angry. Oh come on. Show me. Hey, uh, so detailed. Mm -hmm. Okay, hands, hands. Disappointed. Yeah, how fast it's Yeah, okay. Let's make fireworks, y'all. Uh, come on. Hold it, just incredible. Hold it, just incredible. You are a monster? No, the devil! <laughs> Stop with that light stuff, man. Come on. Oh, you gotta stop with that light stuff, man. It don't matter. Ooh. Okay. Hulk had numerous. What did I say? 
What did I say? Okay. All right, go ahead. Rick's talk. advantage is over Broly. He was far more experienced, slightly faster, and potentially smarter depending on which Hulk was in charge. But since the Hulks fight for control in Bruce's mind, Denial, it wasn't want? guaranteed Cry, he'd complain. get one of the geniuses. Sorry, Still, his healing factor was nuts. Broly wasn't going to put him down with anything less than complete annihilation. Fortunately for Broly, compared to his unbelievable power, the Hulk came up short. I know what you're thinking. Hulk could destroy a universe 120 times over, while Goku could only manage a lowly nine. Ah, but that was base Goku's strength. Broly's maximum, no pun intended, was far greater. Let's lay down some numbers. As a legendary Super Saiyan, Broly was stronger than Super Saiyan Gogeta and took hits from Gogeta Blue without even bleeding. Based on the Daisenshu, the blonde Super Saiyan 3 form is about 400 times greater than Goku's base. Applied right. to Goku's new base in Dragon Ball Super, he would already be 30 times more powerful than World Breaker Hulk. And that's before factoring in Super Saiyan Blue and Gogeta, which are way stronger than Super Saiyan 3. With this in mind, legendary Super Saiyan Broly is thousands, possibly millions of times stronger than the World Breaker we've seen. Okay. While the Hulk's strength can keep increasing, so will Broly's, and it's unlikely he'd be able to catch up before being overwhelmed. After all, there have been multiple times when the strain on Hulk's body turned him back into Banner. With that big of a power difference, there's no way the same wouldn't happen here. Even stuff like breaking space and time is nothing new to Broly and other Dragon Ball characters. And don't misunderstand the Hulk's encounter with the one below all. There's no evidence he directly overpowered actual Satan, just dispersed his cloudy avatar. Hulk even said he was just doing that to buy time. Broly's flight allowed him greater maneuverability and area control, plus he could attack at a distance with key. When Hulk did close that gap, Broly's force field and paralysis protected him up close. And it's unlikely Hulk could land a lucky fatal blow, considering Broly took hits from Gogeta Blue, who's millions of times stronger than the World Breaker. You get the idea. That leads us to our last and most important question. Could Broly bypass Hulk's immortality to put him down and take the win? Surprisingly, yes. Whenever the Hulk or Bruce die, his healing factor kicks in to fix whatever wound killed him in the first place. Meaning he still needs some element of his physical body that can heal itself in order to come back to life. I always think that immortality doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. The hypothalamus but, you is know key what saying? As, as Once it was destroyed by Hawkeye and his special enemy, arrow, Bruce took months even the to come back from the dead. With Broly's incredible power, there was no doubt he could vaporize Hulk I mean, and leave with, nothing um, left to heal. Like, yeah, basically uh, every Wolverine. Dragon Ball Z fight ever. The Hulk was an incredible opponent, but the legendary Super Saiyan's boundless power, arena control, range of techniques, and Saiyan rage spelled the end for the not-so-jolly green giant. This incredible fight was insane! The winner is Broly. Broly. Enough said. Boomstick. Alright, I'm done. <laughs> right, this video is getting a little long, but... Guys, that death battle was crazy. It was insane, man. And I told y'all. It honestly doesn't matter if you're immortal... Like, I know a couple of people that are not immortal, a couple of, you know, characters that are not immortal that can be an immortal person, you know what I'm saying? You have the strength, if your power level is universal, if you can even withstand such overwhelming power, that alone can stand a chance against someone like, you know, can stand a chance against someone like Hulk, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, sure, Hulk got all these, you know, you know, Regeneration powers. He, you know, what I'm saying he can, you know, what I'm saying he can stop. Like he can, he's he's resistant to like radiation and stuff. He can go powerful anytime he wants. But at the end of the day, this is a deity that he's going up against. This is a god that can not only, you know, get stronger as he fights, learn as he fights. He can also like, you know, what I'm saying they 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 literally just said it. They just said it. Yeah, they're both strong and all that stuff. But they all they're both strong and all that stuff. But at the end, it's 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 debatable it's just, it just is it just is you're going up against somebody who is a million times stronger a million times stronger than an average saiyan and then nonetheless that's like unearthly that's that's unearthly bro that's coming from somebody that you know what I'm saying that's you know that's that's from another planet 
with unearthly abilities. You know? So, if I'm wrong, you know what I'm saying? But we can definitely debate about it, bro. We can definitely debate about it. If you have anything against what I'm saying, I know it's going to be a lot, but I don't really care, bro. But, you know, but all things considered, what I am saying is 100% true. And what they're saying is true, but at the end of the day, Broly's taking the win. He's too universal. It can't be beat. But if you got, if you got something to say about this, if you guys thought that... Um, if you guys think otherwise, let me know in the comment section down below. I want to hear y'all's thoughts. What did you guys think about this battle right here, Hulk versus Broly? Because this was pretty intense. It was. And I and other than that, the fight was just crazy. It was crazy. Let's just keep it at that. But uh, that'll be all for today, guys. Hope you all enjoyed that. And also, if you guys want me to react to more death battle, definitely let me know in the comment section down below. But uh, that being said, give this video a like. Share with your friends. Um, follow my social media and give some love to my uh, gaming channel. Other than that, welcome to 2020, baby. Welcome to 2021. I mean, welcome to 2021. I didn't mess that up. I didn't mess that up. You messed it up. <laughs> 2021, we are here, guys. You know what I'm saying? This is going to be a good year. Until then, catch y'all later.